Okay, here is a very quick introduction to the Modolo B21 Alexander Schleicher AS33 glider for Microsoft Flight Simulator. It's freeware, it's on flightsim.to. It's currently in version beta 0.85. Uh, it's, it's not a finished product, but it's definitely flyable and we're getting feedback on it. And we're also discovering bugs. 0.85, by the way, has a fairly major bug fix in it um, from 0.80. Uh, particularly to do with loading the aircraft in the first in the first place. There's, uh, I think we hit a bug in Microsoft Flight Simulator, but we've worked around it, and so th those problems should no longer occur. The AS33 is a flapped glider. You see the levers on the left-hand side of the cockpit. There's the flap lever moving you uh, backwards and forwards through the flaps, and the spoilers lever. Um, you see that blue handle moving. I'm actually using uh, buttons and controls on my joystick, but also you can use um, the, the flaps, F6 and F7, is uh, the function keys are raising the flaps. This plane has what are called flapperons, which is that the flaps and ailerons operate together. You can see there the full length of the wing here. And as you, as you go down through more and more positive flaps, all good, the ailerons coming down, uh, they're drooping with the, with the flaps until you get to landing flap. You see landing flap, the ailerons then kick back up um, with, with full positive flap, which gives you control over landing. Basically, to land a glider, a glider has such a flat glide slope, you have to have the landing flaps down and the air brakes open. Uh, otherwise, you will not be able to land a plane. And this particular plane carries a huge amount of water ballast and it is difficult to fly with that water ballast on it. It's particularly difficult to take off with that water ballast on it. So uh, that being said, I'll take you through a, a takeoff and a landing using different features of the panel. These instruments, by the way, are all uh, convertible between feet and metric, you know, imperial and metric. And um, for the dumb gauges, you just click the front of the gauge and it changes. Um, for the smarter gauges, you actually click the middle, middle buttons here and a settings menu comes up. Uh, and then you can choose whether you, uh, you know, various things like the settings for the, um, the units, metric versus imperial. Okay, so I've powered up the panel, they've all lit up. Um, there's a few helper gauges on here. So on the left-hand side, there's an LCD gauge which is telling the flap setting you're in. When we take off, you need to bring the flaps forward until you're in setting A, which actually stands for Aeroto. T1 and T2 are thermaling flap settings. Uh, zero is neutral flap for not particularly high-speed crews. And then there's minus one, minus two, which are, which are high speed cruising. Anyway, A to take off. Over on the right hand side, this is going to turn out to be important. There's, there's a gauge which is showing you the status of the gear up, gear down. And obviously we're going to raise the gear uh, when we come. These, these leaves on the, on the right hand side, you'll see operating. You can toggle the pilot on and off uh, <coughs> for people that care about that kind of thing. Okay, so we're going to do a takeoff. The panel's already powered up, so the instruments, these are mostly electronic instruments. Um, we're going to power up the engine management panel. We're going to raise or extend the engine. You can see the indicator on the panel is showing the engine coming up. If we go outside, you can see it coming up there. Um, as in the real glider, the engine management is designed to be as simple as possible. In other words, it's entirely controlled on the throttle. When you throttle all the way down to zero, the engine cuts off and the prop will a, a prop brake actually kicks in to make sure the prop is vertical as you see outside because it, it needs to be to go back inside that housing uh, and if we just throttle up the engine will start and go to max rest for takeoff now I'm actually going to show you so we're creeping forward I've just operated the spoilers handle you can see two red indicators on the panel one on the left hand side that is showing you how much the spoilers are open and on the right hand side there's a similar red indicator that is showing you how much wheel brake is on um, and the wheel brakes, you can use the normal um, Microsoft controls, but the wheel brakes actually operate on the, the, the end of the run of that spoilers lever um, is actually operating the wheel brake. Okay, and the wheel brake is just about strong enough to hold the plane on full throttle. Here we go. Anyway, spoilers off, wheel brake off. Off we go trundling down the runway. You've got to try and keep it straight, and um, you will be able to level the wings once it's parked up picked up a little bit of speed. We're going to get up to 63 knots is uh, what this thing takes to get it off the ground. It is full of water ballast, 
so do not expect it to be easy. You make it easier for yourself if you have the wind blowing down the runway. Taking, taking off in a glider with no wind is always a bit problematic. You're much happier. It's a bit like an aircraft on an aircraft carrier. You really want the wind blowing down the runway. You see we've got a red warning on the left-hand side that is telling us that the gear is down, but we can't, we're airborne, the gear is down, and we're carrying water ballast. That is a, not a normal situation for the plane. Okay, something's wrong there. If you've got the wheel down, that normally means you're going to land, in which case you should not be carrying ballast. Uh, but in this situation, we're going to raise the gear. So raise the gear, the warning goes away. There's nothing now. Or to carry water ballast is normal if you have the gear up. So it's, it's got no reason to give us a reading. The sounds aren't finished on the plane. In fact, we've already started on the sounds on the plane. The beeping you hear is the Vario, uh, which is this this gauge on the right here. The climb speed at the moment in Beta 0.85 is uh, is higher than it is faster than it should be. This plane has got a better climb than it than it has in reality. And we'll address that, just the actual power of the, of the climb. It's achieving that balance between the takeoff performance versus the climb performance. And we haven't got that right yet, but we will do by 1.0. <coughs> um, what I'm going to do is climb a little bit, say 2,000 feet. I reckon that will work. Um, I'll kill the engine. Here we go, 2,000 feet, kill the engine. Uh, most of you guys will have the uh, engine set on a, U a joystick control, I presume. I don't, because I entirely fly gliders. Uh, okay, so you're going to see on the engine management, the prop speed's gone to zero, the prop brake has come on, so we can retract the engine. <coughs> okay, I'm going to turn around. This map gauge, what well, look, currently looks like a map gauge, in the middle of the panel is a completely custom gauge, by the way. It's not sort of an inserted Microsoft GPS. It is using the Bing map. Um, it actually has an horizon built into it, which I quite like, which again is custom, it's not the Microsoft one. Um, <coughs> and uh, we're going to turn, where we actually took off from that blue airfield that you can see on the map, we're going we're to turn back and land there. The first thing we're going to do is dump the ballast. Okay, you cannot land with ballast. And you see there's multi-gauge down here, uh, which normally shows you the compass in the wind direction, is showing the status of the six ballast tanks, the AS-33 has uh, two on the inner wing, which are the largest ones, two on the outer wing, and has tail ballast tanks. The tail ballast tank you can see there is already empty. We haven't done the visual effect yet. Um, okay, the airfield is over there somewhere. The map is telling me the airfield is over there somewhere, so we're going to go this way. Uh, we're still dumping it, and when those indicators all go green on the ballast dump information... Ooh, see the airspeed indicator went red, it's telling me I'm over speeding. And that's for a, uh, that is, I just wasn't concentrating. That's this airspeed indicator here. I'm flying like, way too fast. Let's start introducing some flap and slowing down. I've retracted the engine, we've dumped the ballast. So the gear is up, which isn't a great landing configuration, but otherwise we're, I'm gonna line up, I can see the runway now. Uh, I'm gonna line up the runway crack open the brakes and see there's a warning another warning appeared on the left hand side of the panel which is the spoilers are open but the gear is up and that isn't a normal configuration I'll put the spoilers away actually hit G you can always put a button it's just the standard gear up down command we're flying way too fast we've got no ballast this plane is a lot easier to fly I've got about half spoilers open you can see we've got no wind so I can't land into wind uh, the gauge down here has got a compass direction on it and it's actually got the wind, the relative wind direction for us on it. Uh, I'm not paying enough attention to my gliding. I'm just going to close the air brakes. Gear is down. In we come. A bit slow probably. bit more air brake. No, it's not a bad landing to be honest. I know I haven't hit the ground yet. I'm a real glider pilot. <laughs> See if I can get it off the wrong one. Over there. There you go. We'll break open. 
and there you go so uh that's version 0.85 it's not that far off but we've still got sounds to do we we'll probably do a bit more work on the flight model i have not finished the main central panel yet the yellow writing on the top of it is just temporary debug writing um this thing does load the flight plan if you have a flight plan loaded it draws it on the screen and it's doing range rings to, to your destination but um my intention is what i really like to do is the main work is to finish off this panel before it goes into production we will be fixing minor things as well Right, so I hope you enjoy it.